I wanted April Bloomfield to come because the food is really bold. It has great clam and corn chatter that she makes. And I thought, this is a very fall New England dish. And I wanted her to come and show us how to make that. Shall I start? Shall yeah, I show tell you us what yeah, we're okay. doing. So I'm just, I've just got some smoky bacon, and you want to just render all that fat. The bacon's starting to brown. Okay, that's but enough. If I, yeah, but it's going to brown more once right. I add the carrots. Okay, good. So I don't want to take it too brown. Or I think that's burn. a mistake that I know I've made and maybe other people have too, which is to cook the bacon where I want it, right. then add some other stuff, right. and then it cooks and then it past cooks where I much, want it. Yeah. Yeah. When I think about making this soup, I, I feel like I'm making a tea. This is the essence of the soup. That kind of pulls all the flavor out, and it goes back into whatever liquid uh, right. you put in. These little neck lambs, I just cook these in a little white wine. I pop them out of the shell. You know, I like the, the a lot of the dice is very coarse, and it looks like a really, um, Big pieces of bacon, the carrots right. are very roughly chopped. I like that. You know, when I, I mean, make... not only is it easier and more the way people really cook, but you're going to get a lot of bite from a lot of right. this, right? So the white wine in this recipe is super important. The bacon is very heavy, so we're going to cut it with white wine. And we're going to add some stock, actually. Do you want to just puree a bit of this? These are Idaho potatoes, just cooked in a little bit of cream. We're not gonna puree all of this because it's nice to chomp on a little chunky potato. Pureeing that gives it a lovely velvety, silky texture. Oh, look oh at my that, God. it's gorgeous. Isn't it velvety yeah, and creamy? It's incredible. Long Island corn is just probably hands down some of the best corn. Spoken like a true New Yorker. <laughs> So I saved all these. These are all the lovely hearts from the celery. You know, a lot of people just throw them away, but they're, they're actually quite sweet and delicious. We can add a little bit of this just to give it some uh, layering. All right, should we plate? And you know what? We could just drop a few of these right at the end, poking through, like they're swimming through a little ocean of chowder. <laughs> there you go. Maybe a glug of olive oil, just on top and a little bit of lemon. Oh, fantastic. To kind of brighten it up a little bit. What do you think? I think it's too pretty to eat. Do you think you're gonna make that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's well, thank gorgeous. you. Thank you for inviting me to do this. Happy Thanksgiving. And to you too. <laughs> mm.